Hey everyone, the last video I did uh, got a lot of views. I was I was pleasantly surprised. It actually got more views than I have subscribers on this channel. Um, so if you're not subscribed, go ahead and, and uh, hit that subscribe button because this is likely to be the first of probably several follow-up videos to that video I did uh, a couple days ago, uh, last week, five days ago, six days ago, something like that. Um, basically, now that Cheryl is end of life, what what do you do? Uh, I gave some tips in, in that in that video, um, but there are uh, a few more specific areas that I want, want to dive a little bit deeper into. Um, and t in today's video, I want to talk specifically about um, things to think about, essentially rehoming um, from Sherwell, right? And there are a couple different ways to think about this. So I think the, the most general is, I like to think in terms of nouns and verbs. And I, as a software engineer, I do this with, with any system that I'm building, designing. Um, and I think the same applies to a tool as extensible as, as Sharewell, right? In Sharewell, you have business objects, which are your nouns. And then you have one steps, uh, which are your verbs. Uh, yes, there are specific types of each of those, right? You've got um, your primary business objects, your supporting business objects, your your lookup tables, and then on the the one step side, you have things like um, automations and uh, uh, you know scheduled scheduled jobs, those sorts of things. Um, but it's you know nouns and verbs, um, and that, those are really the sorts of things that I think. Uh, from a high level, you need to be thinking about. Uh, so where is the, that data going to live? Uh, and I'm not just talking historical data, you know, all the stuff that you currently have in Sharewell or, you know, will continue to create in Sharewell over the next one, two or three years as you're, as you're going through this transition, but also moving forward. What system will be the place where you store your incidents? What system will be the place where you store your knowledge base? Um, and those sorts of things. And then from the from the verb side of things, uh, the one steps, um, the automations, those sorts of things, uh, what system are they going to live in? Now, there are some systems out there that do both, uh, but a lot of systems really focus on heavily on one or, or the other. Um, a lot of the, the less expensive uh, ITSM systems or help desk systems uh, really only do nouns. They have very limited support for, for the verb aspect, for automations. Um, and that said, they do have, uh, you know, kind of predefined or even customizable workflows for kind of the, the common ways that, that help desks uh, and organizations work. But if you want to get something more customizable, uh, you're looking at a true automation system. And that was one of the things that was that was really awesome about, about Sharewell, um, is that Sharewell had both that extensive customizable capability for um, storing incidents and, and knowledge articles and that sort of thing, but also had the automation piece, right? And that's something that's that's a little bit more difficult to find in in current modern automation or ITSM systems. All right, so now you're looking at a separate automation platform. There are plenty out there, um, but uh, you know, that's a decision. Uh, I will say that uh, I, like I mentioned in the last video, I do have a pile of code. Um, I think what what Farewell was doing was, uh, was phenomenal. Um, and I think their exit leaves a hole in the market. Um, I do have a pile of code that that has both of those pieces. It has a fully customizable uh, storage mechanism, you know, a table storage mechanism, um, something akin to business objects, and the automation component. Um, and I'm looking to make it work for the service desk uh, realm. I have a very simple uh, demo of this uh, that I did a while back. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the video description. Uh, I think I might have put a link to that in, in the description of the last video as well. But that's something that I have that I'd be willing to, uh, you know, continue to maintain 
and and, and make work for a, a, anyone who wants it. Um, and I, I I'd definitely be interested in hearing from you uh, about what things you really enjoyed from Sharewell uh, and maybe are going to miss from, you know, if you have go to X uh, platform versus Y platform, um, you know, what are the things that really attracted you to Sharewell uh, and uh, you really valued about, you know, having Sharewell even after the, the acquisition by Avanti. I also want to know what struggles you had with Sharewell, you know, what things, you know, just didn't work the way you wanted them to, that sort of thing. Um, however you want to share that with me, uh, you know, send me an email, shoot me a text if you have my number, um, leave a comment down below, though YouTube's comments, you know, there's only so much you can put there. Um, or let's schedule a conversation, right? Uh, shoot me an email with some times, uh, we can set something up. I'd love to hear, you know, everything about you know, what you like, what you don't like, uh, what you want to see, what sorts of features you're looking at as you evaluate systems. Um, you know, again, I think there's an opportunity in the market and I, I want to uh, make something work for you all. So with that, I'll end the video. Um, and uh, like I said, this is probably the first of many. So stay tuned for the next follow-up video uh, and make sure you're subscribed. And if you like what I said here, uh, go ahead and give that, give the video a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Thank you.